Hi, my name is Sasha. In this video, I want to show you how to use the Magnific pop-up plugin for your website design project. It's a popular plugin to make responsive pop-ups like images, dialogues, videos, maps, and so on. I'll put the link of this page and all the relevant links in the description area. Uh, now, without further ado, let's get started. So open your code editor, create a folder, and create a file index.html. Uh, in VS Code, I can just use exclamation mark with tab to have this auto-completed code. And now inside the head area, we want to embed the link from the Magnific pop-up page in CDN.js library. Copy the CSS link first and just type link in the href attribute, paste the link and then go back to cdn.js, search for jQuery and just grab the first link. For the JS link, type script and put the link in the source attribute. And then once again, go back to the magnific popup.js page. We want to grab the JS file as well. And then also use script, paste it in the source attribute as the source attribute. And now we have got all the links that we need and we are ready to go. So for the body area, let's go back to the first page, the Magnific pop-up page. If you click the view source code and you can see the JS, HTML and CSS code already provided. But for this video, I want to actually create a pop-up dialog. So I just click, you can just click the view source. And first of all, grab the HTML code, copy and paste it in the body area. And now we can refresh our page and you can see we already got two links, but uh, you click it again, nothing because we haven't embedded other stuff. And now next thing is to copy the CSS file, CSS code, sorry. Uh, for this CSS, I want to put it in a separate file called uh, style.css. And I'll put in the same folder. Paste all the CSS code we get from that page. Save it. And the last thing to do is to put the JavaScript code before the closing body tag. Um, grab the JS actually jQuery JavaScript code. Copy this piece of code and paste it inside the script tag. Save it. In Now we should have everything ready. Go to the link, click it, and we can see the dialog just pop up the way we want. If you want to put an image inside, simply just put an image tag with your image source link and you can see the dialog will have an image inside and that's pretty much it thank you for watching and i hope it's helpful i'll see you in the next video